Good morning, good morning. Oh, did you get your morning clothes on? Perfect, thanks for doing that. All right, guys, we, uh, <laughs> Rona, is that you? <laughs> What's so funny? You said we are playing. <laughs> Oh, Ella, did you want to come out? Come on. Come on, Ella, puppy. Come here. Come here, Ella. Good girl. We dec I decided I like Ella. She was a, kind of a freak most of her life, but she's turning out okay. Still a little afraid of people, strangers, but that's okay. Hi. Hi. She's a good dog. We'll keep her. It's good, because then we do want her to bark at an intruder that comes in the house and like even attack if they were a just don't want her to bite nice people that are pet trying to pet she her. Hasn't, Mom. She hasn't yet. Right, Evie? What do you mean? I'm a puppy. Yet. Whoa, uh, uh, uh. Ella doesn't know yet. How you doing? Pull some huevos for breakfast. Mm -hmm. We got some definite cleaning to do today. Another day, of, another day, another dollar quarantine. Down. Here we go. Down. Things have been extended. School is not ending anytime soon. And I did hear from, they're still tentatively moving forward with us having exchange students. We'll have to see if all this completely clears up by summertime. Um, Cause they don't usually get here till August or so. And I'm guessing nothing will be happening during August, so. We shall see what will happen. Ella. It's very possible we won't be getting exchange students Maybe just because of all this. But for now, I just talked with the coordinator yesterday and they're still uh, getting them approved Ella. to be at the high school and everything. So. Ella. Sun will come out. Just got done raining and the sun just came out, you guys. So, Davy's mom is so heartbroken about not being able to see anyone. We decided to brighten her day. We're gonna drive the bus by her house. I told the kids they're not allowed to get out the bus. But we're gonna drive the bus and play a song for her and wave to her through the windows. And we can talk to her through the microphone. And that's what we're gonna do to brighten her day. Oh, call, we got Noodle, we got Evie, we got Ender, Ambry, Daisy, Zay, we we're all here. Noodle. We got the Noodle. Yeah. <laughs> Also, we've been robbed. Someone stole the mannequin out of our bus. Barry the mannequin is gone. Barry's gone. Yes, Barry. Someone stole the mannequin out of our bus. Who did? I don't know. We don't have any cameras that with footage of people or anything. A bad guy stole it, maybe. I'm gonna get on KSL and see if I can locate another one. All right, we're almost there. Um, she doesn't know we're coming, but I know she's gonna be home because they don't really leave their house. She said she went to the store a couple times and she wore a mask and then she sanitized everything, but there will be no contact. I'm gonna repeat Stay myself. The bus. We will not leave the bus. <laughs> and they are not allowed to even touch out the window or anything, so. It'll be Here fun we go. To see a person. They'll get excited. I think it'll make their day just to have a visitor in a way. What's that you gonna play? See if DJ? We have Pollyanna songs. Oh, yeah, we got one. Okay, let's do this.
You have to stay 20 feet away. It's 16, Bob. No, today it's 20 feet because we left Grandma. How's it going? Good. Good. Where's your virus? I'm making a medical on your map. Oh. For what? She got the she got the pattern from Bridgette, and she's making medical masks from Just cotton. Just for you or for what? To donate. Cool. That's nice. Mama, I'll leave it up to Mama I'll to start doing that nice stuff. There's Grandma. Oh, you're awake? Hey, wait for Grandma. We can't do that. Hi, Jay. You guys say hi to hi. Grandma. If I'd known you was coming, I'd got hi, this. Grandma. No, it's a good thing I did it. Evie, say hi to Grandma. Because I would have missed ya. Yeah. Hi, Tell her you hi, love her. Evie. Where? Evie. Where's Evie? Over there. Um, can I open the window just a little Where's bit? Where's your dad? Yes, you can. Ask him. Give me high five at the window. Ask him. Where's Grandpa? He's in bed. Is he feeling okay? It's 2.30. He didn't go to bed till 5 in the morning. <laughs> he got reading one of his journals when he was in Sweden. And then he woke up again at 9, started reading his journal again. I told him he has to go to bed and get his sleep. Work, work in the graveyard shift? Work in the graveyard shift? Yeah. I said, you got to go to bed. And he said the part that he Grandma. reading in Sweden, high five, uh, is when he's gone for like 17 days. Julianne's the baby. And he gets a real scared feeling thinking he'll never come home for 20 years and that I remarry and the kids are all grown up. He writes that in the journal. That's scary. <laughs> he goes, i got to get home. You're 27 And her tell her. Say, I love you, Grandma. I love you. Love you. Wait, what do you want us to do? Have your future self, 20 years from now, Grandma. come here today and tell you, give you a hug. <laughs> wait, do you have a time? She, wait, she's crying what right do now. What do we not know? It'll be all right. <laughs> what do we not know? <laughs> April can't hear it. <laughs> no, I can hear it, but do you have a time machine? What? Do you have a time machine? Yes. Oh. <laughs> no, I was. <laughs> She's crying, April. I was Is your dad sick? Old movies. Yeah, Mom. Old movies. When I'm done doing my trick, I'm going to call you on my iPad. Yeah, you do that, okay? Oh. I'm calling with you. Okay. I'm going to call you on my iPad. Yeah. You guys doing okay? okay? <laughs> and you sick? I thought. This is 30 years ago, and I know what's going to happen in their lives. I know what's going to happen, because it was 30 years ago, and we know. And I thought, so let's go forward 20 years and come back and say everything's going to be all right. I like that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I like that you put your stop sign out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that escalated quickly. We were just chatting through the windows, and then Roseanne was like... I should go get you guys some treats, some granola bars, and some fruit roll-ups. And Davey turned on the bus and just took off. He's all, up, cross the line. <laughs> Before she could even, and then the kids are all, oh, I was like, nope, grandma's, grandma's crossing the line, time to go. Too far. She took it too far. We had a good visit. No we contact. for a long time. I think it picked up her spirit. She did put that on the ground, and after it sat in the sun for a little while, we grabbed it and brought it in the bus. But it was great with flying salt once we get home, too. <laughs> I'm more worried about us giving her something than her giving us something though, so. We did not give her anything or touch anything that she touches. Whoa. All right, BYU TV sent us something. We grabbed the mail and we put it in the bus. Um, and I got this. Mom, show it. Jody made you this, huh? That was very sweet of her. Yeah, I got because it. She saw you getting pokes and thought, I'm gonna sew her or crochet her a little toy. How sweet. That's very nice. I like it. You know, a lot of you guys have been sending little gifts for Evie, and that's very nice. But I don't want to, like, I don't want to encourage it because I think she has plenty of stuff. And I know that you guys are sweet, and you're just, like, trying to 
give some love to her because she has hard things she's gone through. Yes. Okay. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that's nice. But you have enough stuff, huh? Yeah. You know, if you really want to help the cause, we are doing fundraisers for the Arthritis Foundation. Ooh, I and like. This is very sweet handmade thing, so I love that. But um, a lot of people have sent her toys, and I'm like, ah, it's hard for me to know what to shout out and what not to, and I just feel like well, what I, is this? a lot of the time I just don't because I don't want to encourage other people to keep sending stuff, and I don't want to just end up having like piles of stuff at the P.O. box. So I hope you guys understand when I don't shout it out. Um, but yeah, if you do feel like you want to donate and help, then they're looking for a cure and they have a lot of scientists working all the time trying to figure out better ways to treat these little kids. And you can donate to the Arthritis Foundation. So I think that that is something that would be really helpful to a lot of kids, huh, Evie? But she loves this and I think it's gonna have to stay with her. Just like Pixie, huh? Pixie's friend.